This is professional artwork, the kind of work you can expect when you reach the final destination in your art journey. But you and me, we're still trying to figure out basic things like anatomy and lighting. You want to draw cool and cute characters, but still can't make all the pieces come together to a beautiful finish, and it's beyond frustrating. Today, I'm going to talk about what you can do to move forward as an artist in a positive way so you feel thankful for the skills you have to create your cool and cute characters and have gratitude for the journey as you're on your way. The art community is in full stress mode right now. Lately, it seems like a lot of artists are either one of two things. They're depressed with their work, meaning they're not happy with it, they're not happy where they are in their art journey, they're frustrated. They think they suck, and they question why they should even be doing it. Or two, they're worried that their artwork is not being appreciated enough. Their work isn't getting views, AI art is making it feel hopeless to become an artist, AI art bros are stealing from them, no one likes their personal work, only their fan art, and sometimes they just don't want to do social media at all just to generate interest in their work. I'm not gonna lie, there are a lot of things right now that would make an artist feel discouraged. It would make sense for you to feel like you're hitting a breaking point, especially when bad news is amplified like you're listening to a megaphone in a closet. From theft to harassment to complete disrespect, artists in today's world have never felt more threatened, and all you wanted to do was create something and share it with others. You're right to feel discouraged. Those feelings are completely valid, and I feel it too. Gratitude has been my way out of these feelings, and it's why I wanted to make a video about it. You can make your way back to that childlike joy of creating and use it to become a better artist, and maybe a happier and healthier one too. Strangely, I didn't discover my need for gratitude through drawing or painting or any kind of art. It was through my free time where I was just playing games. Video games are incredible. I remember when I first got my hands on Pokemon Red. It was a giant, thick, see-through Game Boy, and it was black and white, but it was amazing. <laughs> Looking at the games that we have today, like my current obsession, which is Genshin Impact, when you put those two side by side, it is crazy to see how far we've come just visually in a short amount of time. A couple of months ago, I was playing these games, and they were losing their appeal. I think anyone who plays games knows what it's like to have a backlog. I have tons of games that I want to play, and I started to rush through them just so I could finish one and get to the next. These games that I was so excited to play just felt like lukewarm experiences. I couldn't really put my finger on why the enjoyment was getting sucked out of them so much until I watched a video from a streamer that goes by the name Asmongold. Asmongold is an interesting character. I may not agree with everything he says, but he loves games, and that enthusiasm started to really affect me. Video games are my passion too, and a huge reason why I wanted to become an artist, so why was it that the joy for those experiences wasn't there anymore? While he was playing this as a job, and still enjoying it every single day, just as if it was the first day he was playing games. After a walk in the park and a few introspective chats, I realized what happened to that version of me. I lost my gratitude. Here was this person who was playing games all day, enjoying the hell out of his time and life, and I was watching the same trailers and playing the same games and feeling underwhelmed where he was overjoyed. The difference was that he felt immense gratitude for everything coming his way. He doesn't live a flashy lifestyle, he just cares about why he got into it in the first place, the games. And he's grateful for all that he gets to experience. Not that he isn't critical of those experiences, but he enjoys them for what they are. This is something we desperately need as artists. Gratitude is freedom from toxic emotions and a gateway to deep appreciation. Those two things alone should excite you, but Let's dive a little bit deeper into why that is and how you can benefit from it. Gratitude is defined as the quality of being thankful. What that really means is being thankful for the things we have and what we get to experience by focusing on the good in our lives. There are so many things that we take for granted that we don't realize. Take video games for example. When was the last time you felt deep appreciation for the sound design? I don't mean the soundtrack, those are obvious cues that give your journey emotion to it. 
I mean the thwack that you hear when you hit an enemy, the squish you hear when you walk in the mud, or the ping you hear when your skill is ready. These things happen in the background, and you barely notice them, but they make your experience cohesive, like you are really living in that moment. If you took it away, you'd notice it immediately, but when it's doing its job as it should be, you barely notice it. It's kind of like how you probably feel about the internet. When was the last time you felt grateful about your internet connection? You barely notice it, it just functions how it's supposed to, until it doesn't. When the internet goes down, that's when you really appreciate what you had before it was gone. Say you didn't have that internet come back for a week or a month. How grateful would you feel when it finally came roaring back? There are a lot of things that we take for granted. That we have hands to hold a pencil, that we have functioning eyes to look at what we're drawing or painting, or even that these tiny tablets manage to translate our mark making into pixels on a computer screen. When you lose gratitude for something that was once magical to you, you lose appreciation for it. I was finding games less and less satisfying because I was taking every experience I had with them for granted. You can do the same with your artwork, but you can also turn gratitude into a surprising force with powerful benefits. When I was a beginner, I used to feel guilty for taking any time off or not drawing every day. There was an unexpected expectation in the art community that you had to follow a certain set of rules or you really weren't considered an artist. These rules somehow expanded into social media channels and loud, very, very opinionated viewers. I've seen and heard crazy things ranging from fan art is cheating to really just terrible unsolicited critiques. This is toxicity at its finest. Artists already have their own mental health problems to deal with, our own insecurities. You don't need toxicity pouring in from every part of the globe, especially from our own community. Practicing gratitude will free you from that toxicity. In a research study involving 300 adults, participants were randomly assigned into three groups. The first two were asked to write for three weeks, while the final group didn't do any writing. Group one wrote a letter of gratitude to another person each week, and group two wrote about their deepest thoughts and negative experiences. It's worth noting that these participants were chosen just before they were about to meet for a counseling session with a therapist. They wanted people who were already feeling negative mental health effects like depression and anxiety. Those that wrote gratitude letters in group one had significantly better mental health for the weeks they spent writing and 12 additional weeks after the exercise. The strange part is what caused that significant benefit. Rather than more positive words leading to a more positive experience, it was the absence of negative words that did the trick. Shifting their attention away from toxic emotions by focusing on the positive improved their mental health. How many times have you beat yourself up for not drawing as well as you want, or told yourself that you suck? Literally focusing on being thankful makes you ignore all of these negative things, and then you reap the positive benefits on the other end of that gratitude. Three important things to note. The longer the study went on and continued after, the larger the benefit to mental health. In other words, the benefits you reap from gratitude take time. MRI scanning of the brain revealed people who are grateful are more attentive to how they express gratitude. This suggests that expressing gratitude has lasting effects on the brain and can contribute to improved mental health over time. The study also found that people who are grateful showed greater neural sensitivity in the area of the brain associated with learning. Makes sense, right? If you're grateful for the skills you have, you're grateful for the challenge that you're about to face, the journey that you're on, grateful for the hand that lets you move your pencil, you're gonna eat all those good feelings up and keep on moving forward in a positive way. It's like a gratitude supplement for learning. It's not only great for your progress in your art journey, but also just wonderful for your mental health. Now that I've shown you how gratitude helps you, let's go back to those two emotions most artists are feeling right now, depression and worry. How does gratitude help us with these feelings? If you're not happy with your work, Gratitude will help you appreciate how far you've come. Focus on your growth instead of those toxic negative emotions whispering how much you suck. That whisper is your own voice and you can turn it off or better yet, show compassion and kindness. If you're worried about your art getting views, you've lost sight of what drew you to art in the first place. Gratitude will help remind you why you create art. 
and what got you excited about it in the first place. It will bring your focus to the art and not the justified anger towards these AI art bros. It'll help you appreciate your ability to pursue your dream as an artist and create characters and worlds that you love. How do you practice gratitude? It's really simple. Just find one thing to be grateful for every day. It can be big or small, just has to be something tangible. Every night before I go to bed, my wife and I exchange things that we're grateful for and we do that three times each back and forth. It helps me appreciate art, life, and even my video games. Since I started this gratitude journey, I've been enjoying games a lot more now and the excitement has been seeping into my art and I've been creating more as well. I've been drawing fan art of characters I love, which I've never done in the past, and I'm finding inspiration to create some of my own. Gratitude gave me a new lens to view my life from, and it's improved almost every aspect of it. It isn't a cure-all, but it's a compelling tool to navigate your mental health as an artist. So much of your experience in your art journey is dictated by your mindset and your inner self-talk. So if you can make those things work for you and not against you, that's always a step in the right direction. That's all for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Been away for a little while, but I am back now and I will be creating more content. So hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment below if you've struggled with this before too. I'd love to hear anybody who may have gone through the same experience or is hoping that something like this might help them. Have a happy and healthy creative process.